lovelies, it is Trish with Makeup by Trish 2 and today I'm here to talk to you about skincare and basically my skincare routine and also my recommendations on how to have and keep a healthy, young looking, youthful glow to the skin without using too many products, without costing too much money, and without costing you too much time. Um, I really think when it comes to skincare there is just too much hype around things that um, we can't change. They they just are what they are. We have genetics, we have lifestyle, and of course we have gravity and we're going to get older. And with those things combined, there's only so much products can do to help. And the first thing that if you can keep in mind is that try not to buy into all of the marketing behind skincare and keeping us looking and feeling younger. Um, that will go a long way in serving your purpose and your search and also giving you the results that you should be expecting. I have tried so many products, so many things for um, my under eye area and um, the fine lines I have around here, around my mouth as I've gotten, like once I turned 30, it just I could see all the changes in my skin and I, it really put me on a search to find what would work for me. And the more research I've done and the more things and products and routines that I've gone through, I have learned um, a few key things and I want to share those with you. So. What I'm going to first tell you is the skin type I am. I consider myself um, normal skin. I just get oily in the T-zone, which is like your forehead, down your nose, and like your chin around your mouth. Here. Factors in my life would be, um, you know, obviously my age. I'm over 30, so your skin and the products that you use might need to change um, depending on the age that you're at. Also, I tend to have a little bit more of a sensitive skin. There, let me just tell you my routine. When I wake up in the morning, um, I will just wash my face with my hands. And the product that I use, and the one that you need to look for, and this is for anybody, um, is a very inexpensive skincare cleanser such as this one. It's Olive Olay, and it's the Foaming Face Wash for Sensitive Skin. And not that I can't use products that aren't made for sensitive skin, but what I have found in my research is that the things that irritate our skin sometimes are the very things they put in our skincare products. Believe it or not, the research is out there. Um, you can just Google different types of alcohol and the fragrances and 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 the list goes on and on about what is you know it's not good for our skin yet they keep putting it in skincare products. So if you are going to get a cleanser, I would recommend one that is for sensitive skin one that is oil free, one that is fragrance free, and um, one that does not contain drying alcohol in it. And also look for things that are like topical ingredients that make us think that it's going to be better like soothing lavender and that sort of thing. Be careful of those because lavender, although it's a soothing scent and um, has its benefits, there is really no proven science behind those type of things being on our skin and actually feeling good on our skin. Um, those type of things are more gimmicky. You really need to just be having a nice, you know, soap-free, oil-free cleanser. So my recommendation, I think it's like four, six dollars, somewhere between there. So that's what the first thing I do in the morning. And then, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm going to have a makeup-free day, this is what I apply a, more, um, a sunscreen. And a sunscreen, you want to make sure that it not only has the um, UVA, but the UVB as well. Most times you're probably going to find UVB on there, but not UVA. The difference is, is one is actually going to the top layers of your skin to prevent the burning, but the other one blocks the layers of um, skin underneath. Um, this one, I think, it says it goes 11 layers down. I don't know. Um, and prote protects your skin because what the sun does, it actually damages the um, collagen producing skin or cells that are, you know, all the good things that are in our skin, actually the sun damages that. And we don't see it necessarily because, you know, some people don't burn, but trust me, your skin's getting damaged. So if I'm not wearing makeup, if I am going to be wearing makeup, then I just make sure that either the primer or the foundation I'm using has an SPF in it. Um, and then that's it. I don't put moisturizer on my face in the morning. I don't put um, eye cream and serums and all these different things on my skin in the morning. And the reason for that is I found that our skin naturally makes the moisturizers that it needs. So unless you have incredibly dry skin, there is really no need for you to moisturize. I know that's probably going to sound insane compared to what everybody else says, but if you have problems with your makeup slipping off of your face, not lasting a long time, um, getting extremely oily, 
maybe take a day and just don't wear moisturizer before you put your makeup on and just see how that works for you just using the SPF uh, primer and a foundation or a foundation with SPF and I think you'll probably have really good results so that's all I do in the morning then in the evening it's really about cleansing our face and making sure that everything is off and we have a nice clean um, as clean as possible skin and the reason why cleanliness of the skin is so important is that if you think about it all these products that we put on our face need to sink into our skin in order to be able to work if your pores and your skin still have makeup and residue from the day sitting on your skin and you don't get that off of there then you're just putting product on top of product and you're not going to get or see the results that you want so keep that in mind you know it's much more important if you're going to invest in something is to clean your face and make sure that that's where you spend the majority of your time not so much putting products on so how I do that is I start off with a really cheap makeup remover makeup wipes you can also use baby wipes they're the exact same thing. The only thing I don't like is um, try to find one that are fragrance free, the ones that are for sensitive. And so for me, I just get the cheapy Walmart brand and I love these. They clean my brushes in a pinch. They, you know, remove my eye makeup. They remove my skin. And I'm really picky about makeup removers because sometimes I find that they leave your skin feeling either too tight or like there's a greasy residue, like it's just not clean and I've never had that with these. And I'll put the information um, of the exact brand and type down below in the information bar. After I move, remove all that off of me and I can see that I should have a nice clean you know, canvas so to speak, I go through and I take my um, face wash again and I wash. Now here's where it's important. If you're going to be washing your face and you're going to put the time in to you know, cleanse your face, as you should, should be probably the most important thing in your makeup routine, you want to make sure that you're doing it for 60 seconds. And if I tell you nothing else and you pick nothing else from this video to remember, remember that, that you should be washing your face for a total of 60 seconds. It can make all the difference in the world. A lot of the serums we do and we put on our face and they exfoliate, we wouldn't have to do that as much if we cleaned our faces very well every single day. So how I do that to make sure um, that I'm getting the right amount of washing, I guess, is I, you know, put the product in my hand, I lather up my face, and then I spend 15 seconds in this area right here. I spend 15 seconds in this area, 15 seconds in this area, 15 seconds in this, and down here. And then, then you have your 60 seconds. And then I make sure that I fully rinse um, everything off my face. Now sometimes I exfoliate and I know there's a lot of people who like to exfoliate and if you haven't here's a little bit of tidbit. Um, every, I don't know, like every couple days, um, sometimes once a week depending on how my face is reacting, I still use my same cleanser but then I go in with either a brush like this which I got at Sally's Beauty Supply and it's just a, a face brush um, or I really love this, it's the little scrubby that comes on the L'Oreal 360 cleansers. Here, there's a hair in it. Um, and these scrubbies, I don't know if you can see, see how it's got those little kind of massaging things and they're very, um, they're not like a brush. I've seen one with the brush and those would just eat my skin up, but these are really soft and flexible and they feel very, very nice. And, um, this would be like my, my Bobo version of the Clarisonic. Um, if you've not seen the Clarisonic, it's a, a face cleansing machine that has, um, a device that looks like this, but has a much bigger head and it rotates and cleans your skin. And hey, if you have the money for that, by all means, it's an excellent, excellent product. But for me, I just use this and just follow the same 60 seconds. Um, you know, I get an amazing result from it. One thing I will warn you, if you're not familiar with exfoliating or if you have in the past and you didn't get the best results. Let me say this, when you are exfoliating your skin, um, you can sometimes have the most amazing results as soon as you just finish um, washing your face and you get it all done and it just, your skin's glowing, you have new skin and it's just, you know, nice and even and bright um, and then people go back in and they start doing more exfoliation. You know, if I got such great results, if one time is good, then three times must be better, right? Yeah, not in this case. Your skin needs some of the moisture that it's keeping, the oils, you know, we, those things are important to our skin and we need those to balance us out. So you can tend to overstrip your skin by using these too much. And I've learned that the hard way as well, especially with acne. I used to really, really scrub, 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 trying to make sure that that was always clean and disinfected. And um, it just ended up irritating the skin even more. 
And so after I do that, then I um, apply an acne product to any areas that I have, which right now, because of hormones, is right in here. Um, and then sometimes up here during the summer because, I, you know, you get sweaty in your hairline, that sort of thing. Um, I use this. It's the Neutrogena Acne Stress Control 3-in-1 medication. This stuff is amazing. Um, the only thing I can say that I don't like about it is it does have a fragrance. And I just wish that it didn't. And I can tell it's like a cucumber smell. Um, and I know it's supposed to be like the cooling, soothing sensation, which is why they did it. Another, See, another gimmick. You don't need that on your skin. I would just like the product without the scent. But um, I just take a small amount. It comes out on a little squeezy tube. You know, I take a little bit like that. And um, just put it over my blemishes. And if I have none, but I have an area that I tend to break out in, like this one's actually been pretty nice to me this time around, but I've been still putting that stuff on. But this stuff is amazing. Works so well. Um, you can use it up to three times a day if you have really problematic skin, but it can cause over drying. And then um, at night time, okay, following the acne treatment, then I put a retinol on my skin. And all I, it's this one here, it's the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti Wrinkle Cream Night. Um, and I just take a pearl size amount, just a really tiny amount on my finger, put it over my fingertips, dab it all over my face, and then slowly start to blend it in. And it absorbs really quickly. And then that's all I do. I don't use another moisturizer. I don't use anything else. Um, if I'm feeling like my eyes are feeling like they're dry, then I'll go in with a product. This is a good one because it's an eye brightening product. It's the Garnier Skin Renew Daily Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. You can tell it's well loved. Um, and, and any other moisture if you want to boost your skin, but don't use those in the morning unless you have extremely dry skin because it's just going to make your makeup slip and slide. And especially what I have found is that in my products under here, um, trying to cover up my under eye circles, the more products I use using a serum and then a line filler and then a moisturizer um, and then a primer and then my concealer and then powder or foundation, it, it's just too much and it cakes up. So I stopped really using a whole bunch of stuff like that and to be honest with you I've really enjoyed the results not only in my makeup but also my skin has just been responding to it that much um, and that's all I use that's it and, and my skin for the most part stays very very clear um, I do get compliments on my skin I personally don't think I have great skin but I do get complimented compliments a lot and then that's all I'll that's all I do and every now and then I might do like a, a mask and I use like the mint julep mask um, that you can get at any drugstore, and um, you know that, that's pretty much it. And it stays great, so it works for me. I'm not, um, you know, going to say it, it definitely works for you. But what I am saying is, like, research and look into your skincare products because marketing is just that. It's just marketing. Don't believe the hype that's in the tagline or the beautiful models that are there. They're there to sell you a product. And that's at the bottom of the, the end of the day, the bottom line, that's what they're there for is to sell you the product. So you really have to start researching and looking a little bit more into skincare to try and find out what will and will not work for you. Okay, well, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave them in the box below. I hope this was helpful and informative, and um, just thank you for spending a few minutes with me. I hope your day is a great one, and I'll see you all real soon.